All right, give it up for Mr. Mike. He's gonna uh, make an announcement, then we can start our show. Uh, good morning. I am staying away from the light because it's a virus. It's quiet. All right, good morning. I have a few expectations. I want you to enjoy yourself. There will be many, many surprises. One thing that I will expect of you all, we have a professional photographer. Um, all the pictures will be available for you. Mr. Sam will be recording a video. Whatever you want, you have it. But please, according to our culture, do not use your cell phones to take pictures because we've had so much trouble with this. All the pictures, all the videos will be available for you if you need to prove Mr. Sam. Number two, if, if you try your best when we begin to make sure that you stay still because when you keep moving in and out, You'll be disturbing the show. I hope that you stay still for about an hour, 30 minutes, so we can get it done. Number three, you'll be having lunch in your advisory classes. Um, as soon as you get out of here, you'll be going to your advisory classes, and that's where you have lunch. We all know your advisory classes. Mr. Fires, any music? Any music? I come from a country where there are, we are excellent dancers and we dance with our hips. I will wait. Who is coming up to dance with me? I always challenge some students about dancing. Mr. Sam. I see a young man here. He likes dancing. You're not coming? Okay. All right. You lost, Mr. Sam. Give it up with my hands and Come on. Come on, I'm In the middle. 
Over here in the middle. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, that's good. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay, hold. Hold on. Village 
in Kenya. Her name is Fat. She lives alone and she she lives alone and farms a patch of land next to her house. One day, a man came to her and the story began. Hello, my name is Oyanzi. I'm coming for another world, looking for survivor. I'm not allowed here. I don't allow anybody that looks to me. Oh, I will be your survivor. I will work you will fill and clean your home. I'm a woman who lives behind when the rest of the village people die in a disaster. Oh, then you are survivor too? <laughs>
Sen kediye, oda kediye oluyor. Sen kediye, diye, diye. Sen kediye, oğuz, oğuz diye. İkisi diye, nasıl kalsa ham. Zamanlar, hasım iste, yarımız zamanlar. Diye diye, diye diye, S I N B. Gelsa, gel gel, burada bir yolu kalay, yolu kalay. Sofa, mendo, burada bir yolu kalay. Agmalı di, sofa, hadi hadi, burada mı?
It starts before she gets here, before the stairs tell her she's alien to a country that knows her great-grandfather Mexican's hand all too well. Fingerprints still echo underneath railroad tracks and cotton fields from Texas to California, where bent knees and bent backs once picked, plucked, pushed, worked for more money than he was used to, but less than he deserved. For Ana Maria, it begins before the border. She walks with her two uncles to the desert with nothing more than a few gallons of water and a prayer tucked into their pockets, hoping both will last them long enough. The sun is an unforgiving God, but any God is worth having right now. The, pushing, the wind pushing against their backs and the, gray, and the gunshots from drug cartels and the desperation of a job to employ their stomachs would have been uninvited guests on their doorstep. So they step, step, Ana Maria's small hand clutches the bottom of her abuela's dress. Her mother waits for her on the other side, hoping that her face still sings of home like you used to. Another step, she's too young to know what border means. She thinks that people are just family members who haven't met yet. Before her family arrives here, she will learn that there are some borders you can't cross by foot. Ana Maria is 10 years old now. She's learning, she's learning enough English to translate for her parents, but says that her thick accent is still a problem. She tries to fix by leaving in her locker. When the teacher calls on her to read it, she tries to speak proper, like proper has a sound. She pushes her tongue down so she doesn't roll her R's, but she trips on the flatness that bounce with too much salsa. She tries to rattle out the kings in her speech, but her tongue is a stubborn dancer. The two boys behind her don't know how to, move, how to do long division, but they know what a wetback is, and that Ana Maria has braids, and that Ana Maria's hair is thicker than their sisters, and they don't know how they know, but they know how to treat different when they smell it. So they say things like, yo, go back to your country, as if their Irish ancestors never walked through Ellis Island. Ana Maria is now 16. Her father works 18 hour days as a dishwasher. Her mother cleans houses she'll never get to live in. So that Ana Maria can sit in a college classroom and say, I am here. But her guidance counselor says she can get financial aid or the institution rate because of her status. She says it like an apology. Ana wonders if her family ever crossed the borders or if they are just stuck inside another one, aggravating like a soul. Her guidance counselor stands in front of her, in front of her with a mouth full of fences. There are some borders you can't cross by foot, but borders, I tell her, that can only be crossed by stubborn backbone. So when they ask you for your papers, Anna, show them your skin, wear your tongue like a cape, throw up your fist like a circuit. You can't keep any longer. They can't keep you any longer. Afraid you can ever afford to drop a dream. So when they come for you, tell them in the language that you know best, that you are not scared anymore. Thank you. Mexico and Blackberry fans, okay. Come on. I thought everyone knew that. I mean, it's kind of quiet here. We need some, something that could hide us up. So that's all we got. Dance next. I want you guys to do that for Somali dance. Oh my God.
bring them. Yo, what's up? Yeah, I came with a friend here.
guys are awake right now. Aren't you guys? Kids, you look so high. Why don't you come out here? Oh my God. Go forward. Guys, I feel you. This is my school, man. What is this? He's a heat. He's a heat. He's a heat. What you guys want me to dance? Anything. Where from Mr. Pyle? Anything. Grab it. Now. He said, I'll say before next year. But our next performer, we have uh, um, the girl that will now. Can you guys give it up for, um, hey, yeah, she's gonna song, she's gonna perform a song, come on.
first grade now. I'm, I'm sure none of you guys are in that second. Yeah. No, rap! Rap? Yeah. Now we got our next performance. We're next. I'll save that for later. But we got our next uh, the Hello Group Dance, so you guys can give rap for them. Hello.
great dance?
two brothers that are gonna turn out the room, uh, I mean the whole cafeteria, so give it up for YSSP.
Ask you one more thing. Save your brother, please. Your brother died. Save your brother. Save your brother. Uh, by the way, if you guys are wondering, that there are actually songs. There's some pants on YouTube.